we're going to be doing another Fujifilm recipe for Two Minute Tuesday. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dora Creatives, and this week we're doing another Fujifilm recipe. So let's put two minutes on that clock. This past weekend we went to a car event and of course I had to have a camera on me. Coffee and Octane here in Georgia. And of course I brought my Fujifilm X100V. Now, let me go ahead and share a few of these photos that I took that day. I wanted to try out a new recipe. I chose the Kodachrome 64. This film stock is known to have fine grain, vibrant colors, and to be daylight balanced. So if you go into the recipe, you'll see that. For myself, I did alter the temperature a little bit just to be better suited for that day. But again, this is up to you. As you can see here, I was actually trying a new setup for my DJI Osmos Pocket 3, trying to get more of that POV angle. Now, let me know in the comments of what you think of this, what you think of my shots that I took. The only thing that I wish I had, which I didn't have, was a CPL. I have one coming, hopefully it should be here this week. Can't wait to share that with you because it is a relatively new release. I want to show a quick little tip here. If you're having a problem where your camera is buffing after you take an image, if you go ahead and go into your menu, go down to clarity and see how like this recipe wants you on three, go down to zero. And now when you go ahead and take that image, there should be no buffer. Anyway, let me go ahead and put the recipe up here. As I always say with all of these, definitely go to Fuji X Weekly, check out the recipes they have. This is what I use to start off mine. And from here, I actually tweaked it a little bit with the temperature. I did end up lowering it because it was a little too bit too warm for me. Let me know below in the comments, is this a film sock that you'd like to use? Have you used it and did you enjoy using it? If you have any recommendations for other film socks that I should try. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.